When you're filling out your child's school application, it's important to follow all the steps and know how school preferences work so you can make the right decision for your family. The school admissions application form lets you list up to three preferences, your first, second and third choice schools. We strongly encourage you to use all three preferences. Why? to make sure your child has the best chance of getting an offer. Lots of people think that listing three schools will mean their child is less likely to get their first choice. It doesn't and we'll explain why. When you complete and submit your application, we then arrange for your preferences to be processed. This involves sending your application to each of the schools you've listed but none of them will know whether you have listed them as your first, second or third choice. The schools don't need this information. They simply rank each application against their admissions policies. Every school has an admissions policy and it's important that you read this on the school's website before completing your application. This is to make sure you know how your child's application will be ranked. For example, if your child has an older brother or sister attending their preferred school and the school has sibling listed among its admissions criteria, he or she may be ranked higher than an applicant who doesn't have a sibling at the school. Another example might be catchment area. This would prioritise children who live within a certain geographical area decided by the school. Whether you get an offer from a school will depend on where they rank your child using their admissions criteria. Schools then send their final ranked lists back to us so that we can complete the offer process and share the result with you. We will always give you the highest ranked offer on your child's application. For example, if the result of the ranking process means that your child can be offered a place at each of your school choices, we will simply make you an offer at your first choice school. If you don't get an offer from your first choice school, we will offer you the next highest choice that could be offered. This could be your second choice school, or if you didn't receive an offer from your second choice school, it could be your third choice. If you don't receive an offer from your first choice school, it won't be because you listed a second and third choice as well. It will be because your first choice school is oversubscribed and your child was not ranked high enough within the school's criteria. However, because you listed a second and third choice, you have other options and are likely to get an offer from one of those schools instead. If you only list one preferred school on your application and don't receive an offer from that school, and if all other Rutland schools are full, your child will not have a school place on offer day. So, in short, it's really important to think about using the three options available to you and considering the order in which you list your preferences. And remember, Listing more than one preference will not reduce the chance of receiving an offer from your first choice school.